this show is on this show is on the Friday. Good evening, and uh, Merry Christmas to you. This is, uh, I'm Father Russ Carmichael, and uh, this is our uh, Christmas show. Uh, across from me, Bobby Berlon sitting. Um, it's, uh, it's interesting, this is our Christmas show 2011, and I wanna say Merry Christmas to all of you. Um, if you're silly enough to be tuning in tonight, <laughs> happy holiday. I pray you are well and not watching due to uh, some ailment. Uh, if you are watching due to a sickness, I pray to my God and by my God to help you get well. Um, I have to say, uh, we're doing a monologue tonight and everything, um, you know, because uh, no calls, uh, there'll be no calls tonight. Um, trying to give everybody some time off and stuff like this, but Christmas for me is not a very joyous time of the year. I haven't spent uh, time in prison, uh, seven years, right? about seven years for me and about 20 years on probation and parole. Uh, these shows are really done for, uh, uh, for an audience that is not traditional. Uh, we do it, and we put it up on our website. Uh, we put it up on YouTube, and we do it actually for prisoners. And and I do it for prisoners uh, to show prisoners that they can uh, straighten themselves out, uh, get back in community, and participate, and hopefully become uh, a, a voice or at mm -hmm. least do something small for their community. Doesn't have to be big, but uh, whether people like you or not, you can. Uh, uh, you can access things like this, you can do a ministry, you can do a lot of things uh, to pay back for the mistakes that we have made. So when I'm talking, most of the time I'm talking to the people like myself, the element like myself and uh, that has made mistakes, done a lot of wrong things, and that are attempting, at least attempting to try to uh, give back to community. Now, I really don't care whether some of the straight people out there like me. I don't care about mm -hmm. certain uh, individuals uh, that uh, condemn me or attack me. Uh, but every now and then I get, I get a little aggravated, so. <laughs> okay, so, but it isn't, uh, it isn't uh, it's, it's not a very joyous time of the year. As I said, having spent time in prison, I know how lonely these holidays can be for a lot of people. Uh, I watch all the people who seem to be happy. However, I never understand why uh, half of them are getting drunk, uh, you know, but they, they seem to uh, say they're happy and they're doing things over this season. Uh, I think it may be having to spend so much time being nice to their family members <laughs> and the people around them, it becomes hard to bear. Sometimes it does. Yeah, yeah so, so I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, okay. I am, however, very comfortable celebrating my God's birthday. Or, uh, if you will, for all my atheist friends, I want to say uh, happy holiday to you, however you said. But uh, the fantasy that I may indulge myself in believing, you may call it a fam fantasy, it's mine. This belief in Jesus is my own belief. For me, it's very comforting. Also, this belief has provided me with a life uh, that has totally changed. So whether it's fantasy or reality, I, I again, uh, I am not concerned with the individuals who criticize or think they know something or, or say barrages of things. It, it's not about them. My life isn't about them. My life is about my own, my children, mm -hmm. and the people that we try to help, you know. Uh, 
You know, we had one lady say that I uh, steal food stamps. Must be from you, Bobby, right? And, 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 and attack uh, a household that uh, she knows nothing about. Uh, <coughs> doesn't know that I live what, with my daughters mm -hmm. and that I don't live, uh, nobody else lives in my house, my house, although you live uh, beside us. Uh, you're right, in, apartment, in your yeah. own apartment. You live there, okay? Uh, when's the last time I stole your food stamps? I don't think you get any anymore, right? I think you make too much money. <laughs> okay, but but uh, you know you know this. this I lady, know who you're talking this, about. This yeah. lady I'm talk, talking about. I think Christmas is a good time to uh, talk about uh, uh, to her. Okay, so um, but this belief uh, uh, that uh, it ch changed my life. Um, it changed me from being a capable, uh, violent predator uh, to an individual uh, that attempts to deal with life on a caring for others basis. Mm -hmm. This change happened to me all due to the real or imagined belief in the Jesus Christ of history, or at least what we can prove of that Jesus Christ. For me, and I hope for all of those who share this belief with me, that it is comforting to you as it is me, that it secures you in uh, ways far beyond our common understanding of all things and beyond <coughs> our uh, <coughs> limited intellect. Mm -hmm. So uh, I keep my notes here because I want to stay on track. Uh, many thousands have died for this, uh, um, to know that or uh, we believe in a system or a fantasy we know that many thousands have died for that, that many became martyrs for that belief, and out of which that belief or fantasy, depends on, has developed into a fairly decent world to live in. Not a perfect world, a fairly decent world, <clears throat> but, okay? But fairly decent world here and in Europe, at least those areas I personally know of, all on the basic premise of a handed down principles of my Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, now that's Christ's principles. I'm not talking about the laws that have hurt people and, and uh, the Leviticus and Deuteronomy <coughs> and, and those stupid things that uh, tell you to hate gay people. I, 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 I wanted to say something nasty, but I, I, mm -hmm. I totally don't believe in anything like that. God, God made people the way they are in, uh, and, and how they are, and, and loves, the, I can't imagine a loving God uh, hurting his creations. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, doesn't make any common no. sense nope. to me. It, it, it's about the sickest, it's about one of the sickest things I see is when people persecute uh, other people for sexual orientation, discrimination, or any of those kinds of things. Uh, like so many who uh, do believe I of course, uh, I of course could be nuts. Uh, I could be like the religious radical right people of this world who are driven crazy in their belief of God. Those that don't uh, that don't understand the difference between science, education, and myth in our ever-changing universe. Uh, they, they make me a little bit sick, the Michelle Bachmans of the world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, Frank Schaefer was on last week. If anybody watched the show, you know, you know I love uh, Fran Frank mm -hmm. Schaefer. He's a brilliant man. He uh, was, uh, was an evangelist himself. His father, serious theological evangelist. His mother, uh, very, very interesting people. And uh, we've had them on several times. And I know Frank, and uh, uh, I love his books. In fact, uh, everybody, <coughs> if you really want to read something that can enlighten you on spirituality, is, uh, that's a great, uh, Sex, Mom, and Gods is, uh, is a great book to get uh, someone for for Christmas. In fact, he has a tri trilogy, Crazy for God, and I, I forget the other one, but uh, I'll, I'll plug that for Frank. Mm -hmm. And if you want to know about the gangsters of Boston and everything, okay, my wonderful friend Steve Doherty has a new book, uh, The Real Town, and you can get that on Amazon. The Real Town, okay, okay Stevie and I are very, very good friends. Uh, Stevie just wrote, that's his second book that he's got out. Uh, it's a fun, uh, well, 
<laughs> it's written as a fantasy, but I question <clears throat> how much of it is mm -hmm. real. And how much of it is not. So, uh, you, you know, I, I just said I, I could be nuts, you know, or whatever, but if it is the case that I am nuts, I'm a happy nut, uh, free of persecution, free of guilt, and I attempt to love my neighbor as do I uh, love myself, uh, I try. With this on my mind over this holiday, I'd like to try and recognize that there are many of you out there who don't, don't agree with me. And being the very aggressive individual I am, uh, I am sorry uh, if I offended you in any way over this past year. Most all of you, I really am. Uh, <clears throat> however, uh, try to understand in this apology, uh, no, you need to know this, uh, I'm not going to change. And, and if I think you are wrong in the area of community wherein we come together and share, I stand ready always uh, to defend my beliefs of my realities and my fantasies. I just defend myself. And that's the way it's going to be, and that's the way I am. And uh, there isn't much I can say about that, because that's me. The most important people, though, to me that I may offend on occasion are those closest to me. Uh, obviously, Bobby uh, has become extended family. I probably offended you uh, <laughs> in the last 15 minutes. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about Leo this. somewhere outside running around doing a lot of good stuff for me. And uh, okay, uh, Auntie Gail, who uh, a wonderful runs person. a wonder wonderful person, uh, right? We give her a hard time. And uh, Bonnie, who's Normally on here with me, Tambria. My my God, I can list them um, all. All my girls, Angie, Liz, <laughs> Gel, <coughs> Kelly. I, I mean, you got to be kidding me. Carol, um, Tracy, uh, you, you know who uh, who I've offended uh, over years. My kids, uh, you know, God bless them. Uh, I could s stay here and name them all my life. <laughs> but uh, you, you know. Um, but most of the people close to me, uh, again, I may offend uh, the closest, uh, my own, my extended family and personal friends. If I offended you, I'm sorry. Those folks need to know that I am as sorry as I am capable of being. If I have hurt or offended you in any way, uh, I know I'm intolerant and seriously demanding. Anybody that's in ministry with me mm. and uh, works with me, in that area knows that, uh, well, I think we're about serious business and uh, uh, we, we've been blessed to take care of a few people. Mm -hmm. uh, at one time we did, we did a lot here in New London, but uh, the ones that we have and uh, we have been dealing with for now with you in uh, oh, nine, nine years, I, th I think, eight or nine years, uh, you know. Since it's, August of 03. It's, uh, it's, 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 it, it's extensive and it's not, <coughs> it's not easy and, and it's, demanding, uh, it's, a, it's mm -hmm. demanding in a lot of ways. I believe I do this for uh, uh, your own benefit when I'm demanding and others' mm -hmm. benefits, I think so, even in my uh, ill-tempered ways, <laughs> you know, that uh, may or may not be true. I believe life is very short and needs to be lived fully and uh, in a contributing way. I, I, I kind of demand that all the people who work around our ministry or stuff like that have to give back. Uh, I believe in education as being a necessity and being uh, contributing persons to society as a whole is uh, of paramount importance. I don't believe you can be a slacker. I don't believe that you, uh, if possible, you shouldn't be on the dole collecting. I don't believe you should have babies out of uh, wedlock. If you do have them, you need to pay for mm -hmm. them yourself. I, I don't believe that the taxpayer uh, should burden all those things. Uh, and, unless there were extreme circumstances that uh, there should be a way that you need to pay uh, your way. I mean, that's the society we're built on. And if you haven't, or you haven't attempted, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you, you bother me. You're a thief. You, you steal from community and society. And, and, and those people that do that, I don't have a lot of... Uh, 
tolerance for. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I believe that everybody is limited in, in, in certain ways, and some people are completely limited, and that's a different story. There's a way that has to be t people taken care of, but I believe totally that they, they have to give back. Whether you are limited mentally or physical capacity, one must find a way to live a full life with your brothers and sisters. That's my belief. Now, <laughs> that said, uh, brings me to my first Christmas issue, okay, which I, I want to get out of the way and uh, because I, can, I believe I confront evil. Miss Kathleen Mitchell who was on the show several weeks ago, attacked me in the most filthy, dehumanizing way one can, uh, uh, can imagine, okay, uh, is uh, it really, I'm not sure if it bothered me, but I, I believe uh, that she needs to be answered, okay? Uh, who was in the top of uh, what some years ago would have been my hate list, she would be on that top. The reason she is on the top of this list is due to her uh, platitudinous speeches and writing. Her libelous ways in speech and Prozac crazed writings tend to irritate me now and again. However, seeing the state of Connecticut believes she, uh, that she should be free to scandalize and defame, uh, shamefully, people who do not agree with her Petrosilic, I have tried to compose a poem about my struggle with the Zion of New London. And uh, I'll, try to, uh, I'll try to do this as nice as I can. Mm -hmm. A Merry Christmas, I must say to you, and I'm talking to Kathleen, then as many has requested that I should sue, to bring litigation on your lies and deceit might bring satisfaction and vengeance so sweet. But listen, my dear, my dear Kathleen, to a God-fearing priest. Your hatred and speeches only confirms the cross that is there that allows your mental ill anguish to fly in the air. A community of love is what we seek and work for, one that absorbs your ranting and raving and all that you do is the struggle for justice that sees me through. For most of my days I've spent in the fight to allow nuts like myself to have all their rights. So you see, my dear, all that you say and all that you do only proves God loves me and he's taken care of you. So keep up your ranting and raging this year for your example is one that I keep close and near. You prove community mental health is the way to go even on your nut-filled TV show. <laughs> so, Merry Christmas, Kathleen. Bless you, Kathleen, and all your followers. May you be safe and secure in your belief. Now, I say to all my Republican friends, my old-time Republican friends, change parties. And drop all those tea partiers. Hope you all enjoy a year of being defeated at the polls. <laughs> to all our friends out there, to all you folks in prison, on parole, probation, keep up the struggle. Do not let these judgmental hacks take you down. Find two good people, people who care, care and understand you because you can make mistakes they know you made mistakes and that you can change be responsible and do your part find what will get you through the world is never gonna like you 
It doesn't like me, it's never going to like you. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for people to like you, you're mistaken, okay, and you're wasting your time. You've made mistakes. You bear the mark of Cain, 